don't worry, your computer's not frozen. It is I, the professor. Welcome to day 14 of the 31 day challenge. Oh, that's right, guys. Golden Nation, we are almost halfway through it, baby. Almost halfway through it. Not through it, but almost halfway through it. Yeah. All right, so guys, welcome. It's a beautiful Saturday. Yeah, Saturday afternoon. I'm getting ready to go to work on a Saturday. That's okay. That's okay. Got to make a living for the family. But anyways, guys, I <clears throat> wanted to make this video. wanted to say top of the morning to you, mate. And uh, hey, if you didn't get a chance to watch that exclusive interview um, <clears throat> with uh, Carlos Rodriguez, make sure that you guys check that out, the interview from yesterday. Uh, and it's exclusive because no one else will ever interview this guy. He actually told me when he was headed back to the airport. Um, all right, guys. I got to be honest about something. <clears throat> Carlos is gone. We don't know what happened to him. He, <clears throat> We were in the car. We were headed to the airport. He told me that uh, he wasn't going to do any more interviews, and that's what I was going to say with anybody else except us. He's going to exclusively do it with us. Now, I know that it looked like we didn't get along very well during the interview, and boy, that sun is bright over there. But uh, <clears throat> sorry for the off lighting. But, uh, but anyways, uh, you know, we, we did hash a lot of things out, and we talked a lot of things. And um, one of the things that we're going to talk about in this video, actually, when I come back, but... Uh, we pulled over it's at a Long John Silver's, which is a restaurant that serves food, like chicken and fish and stuff, if you guys have never heard of one. Possible. <coughs> Anyways, uh, so we pulled over. He said he has to uh, use the restroom and get something to drink. So, okay, cool. Long plane ride, I understand, you know. If you've ever flown or ever traveled, uh, you know, uh, a bottle of pop or water is very expensive at an airport. I mean, it's crazy. So, yeah, you know. So, he gets out. <clears throat> no kidding. 30 minutes pass by. 30 minutes. And uh, he never come out. So, I went in, checked the restroom, talked to the manager. Um, they did see him, you know, I mean, he's from Guam. He's from Guatemala, okay? I know I say Guam a lot. I don't know why. God, that made him so mad. I'm glad he, shoo. But anyways, <clears throat> evidently he went out the other side of the door or something happened. We don't know if he's been kidnapped or what's going on, but we need help. We've got to find him. Um, he missed this flight. Went to the airport thinking maybe he got mad at us and got an Uber or a cab. and uh, No, he wasn't at the airport. He did not board. Um, you know, and, and all this commotion. And, and we just don't know where he is. So if you see him, watch the video. I don't have a picture of him. Unfortunately, I just have that video. If you see him, let me know. Leave it in a comment or email me or something because, you know, I mean... He's a foreigner running around our land without, you know, just a few spinners. And I guess he's got his passport, but it's weird. It's weird. But anyways, guys, I'll be back. I want to talk about something that uh, I'm seeing more and more of on the Internet. It's always been an issue, but just wanted to kind of to see what you guys think about it. I will be back. Stay tuned for not the news, but an opinion. Welcome back. Alright guys, so uh, basically, I've seen a lot of videos, seen a lot of people talk about this. This is something that's been around for a long time, but it seems like this year, um, more and more people are talking um, 
about like SJW and feminists and things of that nature. And uh, I basically just want to uh, kind of tell you where I stand on that. Um, <clears throat> I know we do a lot of fun things on here and we joke around and stuff, but <clears throat> sometimes we can be hard hitting and serious. But uh, anyways, so I, I believe in equal rights for women. I do. I mean, I mean, duh. You know, I, I think um, <clears throat> you know that uh, if they're able to do the same amount of work and the same type of job a man does in a position, that and then they should get paid equal equal uh, value. However. I don't agree with the fem most uh, 90 percent of your feminists out there because I think a lot of them are just crazy. Um, you know, a a man, and you know, uh, you guys know that I go to church and and uh, and things of that nature. Um, uh, I try to live as close as I can, um, but a man's the head of his household. A woman was made as an helpmate to to the man God took the rib right out of Adam so you know and uh, I mean I have a wonderful helpmate I call her my rib all the time you know uh, and I, I just want to you know just maybe you know you guys and and once again this is one of those videos like post anything you know, you can have your own opinion, but you post any bad words or anything like that, they will be deleted. This is a family channel. I want kids to watch this. I want adults to watch this. I want everybody to watch this. But yeah, so in the workplace, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I definitely, uh, and don't get me wrong, I believe a man's out ahead of his household, his decision, you know, is the ultimate one. However, the way we run our household is, me and my wife, we talk about everything what we're going to do, you know, major decisions and things like that. Um, when I say a man should run his household is, she'll tell you when it comes to certain things that the professor, you know, what he says is, is what's going to happen. And don't get me wrong, I love her dearly. It's not like I make her do anything against her will. And I do, you know, run things by her and she runs things by me. It's a partnership. It truly is. But, um, these women today, and I'm talking about the feminist women, uh, they just, um, man, they're psycho. I mean, I, I've seen some things on the internet uh, the last couple of days that have really just blowed me away. And um, <clears throat> I talked a little bit about this back during VidCon when uh, uh, Boogie2988 um, had an issue with the, with the feminist. He was on a panel and, and so forth. And you can go back and watch that video if you like. But uh, I just wanted to throw throw uh, throw that out there. Um, all lives matter, not just black lives, not just white lives, uh, not just men, not just women. All lives matter. And you know, if we would just get away from this stuff, and 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 here's the thing, we create people create problems out of the air, like they don't exist, and they just blow them out of proportion. And I know, I know that in certain places there still is racism and, and things of that nature uh, against different races and against uh, uh, women and so forth. I mean, I'm, I don't live in a dream world. I understand. I know that happens. But I do think that a lot of stuff gets blown out of proportion. And um, it scares me for our future. It really does because uh, I have a young daughter. Many of you that watch this are, are young yourself or you have young kids. And, uh, you know, uh, this world's getting pretty rough. Um, Chicago, I mean, I, won't, I don't even want to go there. I don't even have a desire to go to Chicago and even visit. There are so, in certain places in Chicago, there are lives being taken every day. Young lives, old lives, it doesn't matter. It's ridiculous. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to kind of tell you how I felt on that. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a peaceful guy. Hope you guys are too. I'm a happy guy. You know, you can be, I, I think the closer, the the more peaceful you live and, and the way you conduct your life, um, the happier you're going to be. Because if you've noticed, a lot of these crazy feminists, they're not happy. 
They're not. They can say you can say you're happy, but if you walk around with a frown on your face all the time, we're ready to fight. You're not happy. You're not a happy person. All right, guys. So that is about all the time I do have today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification button, and uh, go to Nation. Feel free to share this video as we want to get the world out. And guys, I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a wonderful day. Thanks.